Right then, everybody, who can remind me what story have we been thinking about this week? We've been thinking about Superworm. Well done. And we have loved this story, haven't we? We have done so many wormy jobs this week, thanks to this awesome character here. Now, we know Superworm is a worm, don't we? But I wonder, can you remember what we call the type of animal Superworm is? He fits into a group of animals, doesn't he, that the very hungry caterpillar fits in. And the butterfly that the caterpillar turns into, that's one of these animals too. The very busy spider was one of these animals. And the ladybird from what the ladybird heard was one of these animals as well. Can you remember what we call those creepy crawly animals? Well done, they're all mini beasts, aren't they? And we found in our superworm story so many different types of mini beasts hidden in the pictures, didn't we? Then in our teams meetings this week, we also shared a Mad About Mini Beast book, didn't we? And we learned a bit more about some of the different types of mini beasts we haven't seen in our stories. So we know loads about them now, don't we? I wonder. Can you shout out for me? What mini beasts can you spot on the front cover? Can you find the spider? Where is it? Well done, here it is. Uh, what was this mini beast called here? A grasshopper, well done. And can you remember what was special about a grasshopper? It used its legs to do two things, didn't it? One was to jump really high and the other one was to make a noise well done it makes a noise with its legs and we can hear that noise often in the summertime can't we in the grass we've also got our snail who we found out lives in its shell it carries its home round with it doesn't it and who was this next to the snail a slug well done and we found out that slugs don't have any bones in their bodies they're just squishy all the way through aren't they We've got an ant down at the bottom. We've got our beautiful caterpillar on the leaf here. There's so many different mini beasts we've looked at and explored this week. Now, Superworm wasn't just any old mini beast, was he? He was a super one. Can you remember what was it about Superworm that made him super? What did he do? He used his body, didn't he? to help all of his friends. And he used his body in different ways. Sometimes he used his body to help his friends have fun, like when they wanted a skipping rope or a slide. And sometimes he used his body to save his friends, didn't he? Like when the beetle was stuck down the well or when the baby toad had jumped into the road, he used his body to help them. So that's what made Superworm bit super. And we agreed, didn't we? That's so kind of Superworm, so kind and helpful of him to use his body like that. And because he was so kind and helpful, everybody wanted to be kind and helpful to him when he was stuck. It's a good way to be, wasn't it? Now, for our last job of the week this week, I thought it would be pretty cool if we could see, if we could think up some new super mini beasts to join Superworm in his superhero crew. <laughs> Easy for me to say. So maybe you might come up with a brilliant butterfly and this brilliant butterfly might have the power to sprinkle magic whenever she flaps her wings. Or maybe it might be a super spider whose web is so strong that they can use it to carry rocks or lift buildings. Hmm, the choice is yours, guys. I would love it if you could choose your favourite mini beast, first of all, so maybe a centipede or a grasshopper or a ladybird or a slug, whichever mini beast you fancy, and then have a think about how you can turn it into a super mini beast, okay? So, once you've decided which mini beast you're going to do, the first thing I'd like you to do is to draw me a picture of what your super mini beast will look like, okay? 
Now we've got pretty good at this job, haven't we guys, over the last few weeks. You've done lots of amazing drawing and labelling for me. But today, it's not just going to be a drawing of it, I want it to be a bit of a design. Because once we've designed it, once we've drawn it out and had a bit of a plan, maybe you'd like to go off and have a go at making your super mini beast. We'll talk about that step in a second. Let's think about our drawing first. Now, I think my super mini beast is going to be a brilliant butterfly. So, I'm going to draw my butterfly. Okay, so there's its body and butterflies have little antennae, don't they? Up at the top of their heads. And then they have two beautiful wings. And like always, guys, I know you will do a much more beautiful drawing than me. I'm just doing mine quickly. And then we're going to decorate our butterfly wings, aren't we? And can you remember what was special about butterfly wings? Were they different on each side or were they exactly the same? They're exactly the same, aren't they? Can you remember that mathsy word we've learnt for when something's exactly the same on both sides? We say it's symmetrical. Well done. So I'm going to decorate my butterfly wings. And if I wasn't rushing, I would definitely be colouring this in and making it look really beautiful and snazzy. Okay. So there's just a quick sketch of my brilliant butterfly. Now I've decided that the name of my super mini beast is going to be brilliant butterfly so the first the next thing sorry i'm going to do is i'm going to write the name of my butterfly up at the top brilliant brilliant butterfly okay so you have a think guys and see if you can think up an awesome name for your super mini beast okay the snazzier the better if you ask me and then once you've drawn what your mini beast is going to look like and you've thought of a name can you write me one sentence to tell me what's special about them okay what makes them a super mini beast so for superworm the thing that made him super was that he used his body to help people. That was his superpower, wasn't it? He was super strong and super long. His body was amazing. For my brilliant butterfly, I think her superpower is going to be to sprinkle magic when she flaps her wings. So I'm going to write it in a sentence. Can you remember what that means? It means I need to write it as a whole idea. Okay, so... She, big letter, small letter, big letter at the start of the sentence, well done. She, what do I need now guys? Finger size. She can, and another finger space, sprinkle, oh, sprinkle magic. Now, she can sprinkle magic. That is a sentence. It's a whole idea, doesn't it? It makes sense on its own. But have I said where she can sprinkle magic from or how she uses it? I haven't, have I? So to make it extra snazzy, and when you write your sentences, you could think about this for me too. I need to add a bit more detail. So instead of just writing she can sprinkle magic, I'm going to say where her magic comes from. So she can sprinkle magic from her wings. Okay. What do I need at the end of my sentence, guys? A full stop. Well done. Now, like always, I know your writing will be much straighter than mine because you've got lovely lines in your book to help you. And, of course, like always, if you're stuck with a sound, 
or you're not sure what a sound looks like, use those phoneme mats, guys. Use them to help you find the sound you need, okay? So, beautiful picture of your new super mini beast. Give them a name and then write me a sentence to tell me what they're like, what makes them super. And try and make it as detailed as you can so that someone reading it gets a really good idea about what makes your super mini be special, okay? Now, I said that our sketch today was gonna be more of a design just rather than just a drawing. And a design, can you remember, is where you sort of sketch something out first to get a rough idea. So you've got a plan in your head for when you make it. Now, if you'd like to this morning, I wondered if you'd like to actually make your super mini beast. So it might be that you use your crafty bits and bobs at home and you make a model of what your super mini beast will be like. Or it might be that you turn yourself into your super mini beast. I wonder, have you got any costumes or anything at home that you could dress yourself up in so you become your super mini beast for the day? Maybe you could get the face paints out and make your face into your super mini beast face. Now, if you decide that it's going to be you that's your super mini beast today, think about what your special thing is, what's your superpower make sure you spend the day doing that special thing if you turn yourself into your super mini beast today okay so two choices then guys decide what mini beast is going to be a super one for you what special how uh, special powers what special powers are they going to have and then are you going to make it or are you going to dress yourself up as your super mini beast oh. I bet you are going to do a brilliant job of this because you are so creative and so good at thinking awesome things to do. So I will very much look forward to seeing some pictures by email or save it until you see me in school next week and you can show me your drawing in your home learning book. Exciting stuff, guys. Have lots of fun, everybody. Enjoy being a super mini beast for the day and I'll see you after break ready for our maths job. <laughs>